idea? See, I got an A grade in English. I am so happy. Oh, that's really good Tofu. But hey, this was just your first step. Your finals are still to come. Better study for them too. Ha 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 ha. I already scored an A in it. Do you think I need to study more for the finals? Don't you think I can give my finals even without studying for them? Tofu, it's not good to be so proud of who you are and your achievements. One should always remain humble or else one has to suffer. Suffer? How? Come, I'll tell you a story. The Oak Tree and the Reeds An oak tree stood tall and strong near the bank of a river and close to some reeds. It was a huge tree with a huge trunk and hundreds of big strong branches. The oak tree was so proud that he used to boast openly about his strength. I am so strong and mighty. Nothing can uproot me. Nothing can destroy me. <laughs> Listening to what the oak tree was saying, the reeds couldn't resist but say, Oh, mighty oak tree, don't be so proud of your strength. Nothing in this world is immortal. Being modest is the key. <laughs> you little feeble reeds. What do you know about strength and being the strongest tree in the jungle? Making fun of those reeds, the oak tree stood there with pride when suddenly the wind started to blow. The reeds bowed their heads as the wind started getting stronger. Watching this, the oak tree said, You are so petite and weak. The slightest of winds make you bow your heads. How would you survive the strongest of storms? <laughs> Soon the winds turned into a hurricane. And the oak tree, standing straight with pride, continued to laugh at the reeds. <laughs> oak tree, you might be big and strong, but you need not worry about us. We will bow our heads in this powerful hurricane and survive it. If you will continue standing straight, you will not be able to survive in these strong winds and break in no time. No, nothing can uproot me. I am the strongest and will continue to stand tall and never bow down, no matter what. The winds got more furious and soon the hurricane took its peak. The little reeds kept their heads low and started swinging in the rhythm of the wind thus preventing themselves from getting uprooted. But the oak tree, which stood straight and tried fighting the hurricane winds, soon broke down and fell in the river. Ah! No! This is not possible! See! We told you! You just learnt a lesson! Better to yield when it is foolish to resist than to resist stubbornly and be destroyed. And the oak tree went drifting in the water, crying over his own false pride. Tia, I think I know what you want to explain to me. I will not get fooled by my own pride and I will continue to study hard. Good Tofu, now let's get back to our studies.
for your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.